everyone, how's it going? So a couple of weeks ago, I had a friend ask me to make a suggestion on a laptop, well, an Ultrabook. There's a lot of options out there, but I needed something that had budget, that was, you know, looks nice, not too professional, but also that's portable and that, you know, the person, you know, she could edit photos, look at photos, and maybe do some basic word and so forth. So there was a budget, but also wanted to be portable, but also the brand wasn't a big deal. So that gave me a lot of flexibility. So today I want to make a video about this Ultrabook. This is the uh, LG Gram, LG Gram 13. It is supposedly one of the lightest Ultrabooks out there. It is the white one, not the gray one. There is a gray option, but I got the white one because I think this looks more modern and looks different. It will stand out from uh, the colors and the basic gray that, that's on the market. And uh, it's really light, really nice. It's made by LG, so at least to a degree, I know it's gonna have a really great IPS panel, and it actually does. And I think the price is just right. So today I wanna make a video about this uh, Ultrabook, uh, make some comparisons and give you my thoughts. And also we can go over some general specs. I won't get too detailed because the person who bought this doesn't really care about the specs, just trust me to make a decision that it will work well for a couple of years. So thanks for joining me today and uh, let's uh, take a tour of the LG Gram 2019. So we have a 13.3 inch IPS panel. This is a full HD panel and I think for 13 inch panel, 4K is overdoing it. This is already scaled to 150%. Obviously going to 100%, everything is going to be too small. And for 13 inches and when you sit back and work on the computer, you're not going to notice pixels. Majority of people 1080p is going to look just sharp and I don't think anyone's going to have a problem with that. It's a very, very good IPS panel. This is very vibrant, very colorful. It is very beautiful to look at. And it does have a glossy panel. So the downside of glossy is the reflections, as you can see. But the good thing about having a glossy panel as opposed to a matte panel is that I think images just look very pretty, very vibrant, very sharp. And I think having that glossy panel, you know, if you're looking at different devices such as an iPad or phones, you know, maybe just other computers, other laptops, even Macs, MacBooks, you'll notice that the glossy panel is pretty standard and everything just looks very nice and sharp. The LG Gram 13 has a 13.3 inch IPS panel. So what that means is that it looks really nice. I think the colors look good. Any viewing angle I'm looking at, it looks just as good. You don't have to always be centered. And because this is an LG laptop, I'm guessing because also LG makes the IPS panels, probably they have the good ones here. They probably kept the good ones for themselves, so majority of them should look pretty good. And so I'm hoping that, you know, anyone gets an LG Gram is probably gonna get a good panel. And black uniformity looks really good. When I look at a black screen, I don't notice backlight bleed. So, so far, I mean, if you look really close, you might see maybe a little bit bright here, a little darker here, but so far, generally, it's not something noticeable. And I think that's really, really good. And even the gray uniformity looks really good. So over, oops. So overall, I would say that this panel is very, very good. Everything looks pretty vibrant. I do say, I have to say that the cons this is definitely catered towards more of the consumer, general consumer, because things look very, you know, a little bit saturated, very vibrant. So maybe not perfectly calibrated, but still. You know what, I wouldn't complain. When I'm watching movies, looking at photos, everything looks so pretty, so nice. All right, so we have a webcam up here, not on the bottom, so that's a big plus. The keyboard is really nice. I mean, when you're typing on it, everything feels nice. The key travel is really good. It's quiet, so it's very, very comfortable to work on. And the touchpad is nice and big. I think this touchpad is good size. So when you're working on it, it's very responsive, very quick. When you're web browsing, everything feels good. You don't even feel like you have to have a, you know, a mouse. Everything feels good. Zoom in, zoom out. Everything is very, very responsive. So big plus there. The keyboard has two levels of ba uh, backlighting. So we have a low and a high. So it's nice to have. There's no fingerprint, uh, fingerprint reader. This is not a touch screen. And don't feel bummed out. You know, having a touch screen sometimes is not always the best thing to have because you're going to touch the screen. That means more fingerprints, more dirt. And, all right, so let's take a quick external tour of the Ultrabook. So this is a very, you know, it's interesting. So when I read the website, it says it's made of a 
carbon nanotube reinforced magnesium alloy. It doesn't feel like metal, it feels more plasticky, but in a good way, it feels like good quality plastic. The keyboard the keyboard keys, the you know the black around you know the black around this screen, I mean look at that look how small those bezels are. It's really nice. The only part that feels like cheap plastic, I think, is just this part. The black around the, the display, it feels like, you know, it doesn't feel like very high quality plastic. It just looks cheap. But everything else feels really good. It feels like really good plastic. So it feels like plastic. <laughs> and on the bottom, we have two bottom facing speakers. It has five feet, it has four gray feet. And there's a little thing here, which feels like a foot, uh, like one of the extra feet. And on the side, on the left side, we have the power, USB 3, a full-size HDMI, which I appreciate, and the USB Type-C, no Thunderbolt. And when you power the laptop with the adapter, it'll light up right here. So there's a little, little dot there. Nothing on the front. And on the right side, we have a micro SD card slot. I don't know why we can't stay with full-size SD card slots, but it's here probably for, you know, Honestly, I just assume it's for people with phones with micro SD cards in them because I don't use this. Headphone jack, USB 3, Kensington lock. On the back, actually, you can see the vents, big vents right here. Under load, you will kind of hear the vent kick in, the fans kick in, and you will feel a little bit of heat. But so far, so, so far, so good. Nothing gets too loud or anything. And on the front, you have a little knob down here so you can put your finger in and lift up the screen. And one of the big pluses I have to say about this Ultrabook compared to even a Dell XPS or other Ultrabooks out there is that this is a one hand lift. And that's awesome. It doesn't feel loose, it doesn't feel flimsy, it's just right that you can lift it with one hand and you can close it and it just feels really nice. I think that's really, really nice to have and I think LG just did a great job. So something else real quick I wanna show is the power adapter. It looks pretty big. I was surprised how big it is because how small the Ultrabook is. But it's very light. feels a little bit hollow. It's, it's really, really light compared to my Dell laptops. And the power plug-in is this 90 degree power plug-in, which I actually do like better than the ones that just completely you know, go straight out. So when you plug in, it just kind of has a clean look that just comes along the side. So the body, as I said, is made of some kind of alloy, but it feels plasticky. But you know what? The weight is very light. This is probably the lightest Ultrabook I've ever used. So this weighs about 2.13 pounds, which is actually 965 grams. It's less than a kilo in weight. And the battery inside here is 72 watt hour battery. It's a huge battery. It's rated up to 20 hours. Um, the, L the Dell XPS 13, the 9380, uses a 52 watt hour. This is a 72 watt hour. So this battery is humongous in here. All right. So, some other things real quick. This is using Bluetooth 5. It has an i5-8265U. So, it goes from 1.6 to 3.9 uh, gigahertz. So, if that even matters to most people, I don't know. But it has an i5, so we definitely know it's capable. 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of M.2 um, SSD. So, those are, you know, good numbers. Very big pluses. Wi-Fi, you know, all that good stuff. If you're a geek and you really care about those numbers, what you want to look into is obviously this has a M.2 SSD. Unfortunately, it's not the NVMe. It is the SATA 3. So it's not the fast M.2. It's just a pretty much a normal S M.2. I mean, a normal SSD. Um, and it works fine. For most users, it's fast enough. You're not going to notice. But if you are a hardcore computer person, you will know that. So for upgradability, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM. 4 is soldered. 4 is added. So you only have the option of adding one more RAM stick. The other one's kind of stuck in there, so you don't have any options there. So this Ultrabook came with, you know, it's kind of nice to have. It came, came with a Ethernet, you know, USB-C dongle. It only goes up to 100 megabits. So to me, this is useless. It only hits 100 megabits. Why didn't they just give us a gigabit with USB-C? Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's useless to me. So what I want to do now real quick is I want to show you and compare to other... Um, Ultrabooks that I use, you know, I'm in a more in a professional setting, but at least this is something that I can compare and show, you know, what, how small and how light this is. So here's the LG Gram 13. The closest thing I have in the office that's close to the size and it's also 13.3 inch is the Dell Latitude 7370. So this is kind of like an XPS 13. 
I mean, it looks very similar. It's very, um, very small. It has a very, you know, very, very small bezels on the side. I mean, it's very small. You know, keyboard is this very similar. This is the closest thing I have to the LG Gram. And first of all, after using this and you use this, this feels so, so heavy. It could be because maybe this is metal and a bigger feet and whatnot, but this just feels super heavy compared to this. But on top of each other, if I put them side by side on top of each other, they're about the same size, almost identical. You know, the footprint is actually very similar. Okay, but the width, if we're looking at thickness, I would say they're very similar, except, you know, the LG Gram tapers off on the, the, the front there, whereas this kind of still stays kind of bulky. I also have my everyday laptop, which is the Dell Latitude 7380. This just feels humongous. I mean, look at this. LG Gram 13 and that. I mean, thickness-wise, so much more thicker. It just feels so much more thicker and so big. But this is a 14 inch laptop, whereas this is a 13 inch. So when I, you know, look at this, it's definitely not a one hander. <laughs> but uh, definitely this looks bigger, it has a matte display. The other one I use is the ThinkPad T480S. This is humongous now comparing with this. Look at this footprint on this guy. So definitely. I got to give it to, this does have a touch screen, it has a matte display. I don't like this display because the, the sRGB coverage is very small, it doesn't look very nice at all, it's very yellow and I actually don't like this panel at all. So if you're thinking about getting a T480 or T480S Lenovo for any photo or video editing, don't get it. I highly not recommend it. But it does have a you know fingerprint reader, very very nice keyboard. And it's a touchscreen, if that matters to you. And it's a matte panel too. Even though this is an IPS panel, it's a very, very bad IPS panel. So I hope you uh, learned something from this video. Thanks for joining it today. So I do highly, highly recommend the LG Gram 13. I don't know how well it's gonna work, obviously, a couple of months from now. Hopefully, you know, nothing changes. Hopefully this user is really happy and it works well. But so far, you know, one year warranty, it's really light. It's the audio is fine. I mean, you're not going to get MacBook quality, obviously, but it still is more than adequate. The screen is so beautiful. I love this panel. And it's very light, very easy to use. You know, one-hander has a huge plus. And so, yeah, hope you got to watch this video. If you're a general user and you want something different, this is highly recommended. If you're a professional and you need extra ports, obviously look for a professional laptop. But, you know, it's all personal preference. If you like the gray look, go for a gray laptop. They even have a gray version of the LG Gram. But I want to show as this is an option to consider if you're looking to buy an Ultrabook. Thanks for watching. Again, this is June and uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon.